Alaska law that helped set a route for the proposed Keystone XL pipeline will stand, even though four state Supreme Court justices say it's unconstitutional. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Maskell. I'm Melissa Fry. The pipeline opponents and the landowners who sued tell us that they have a plan to keep the fight going. A divided Supreme Court upholds the 2012 law, which allowed the governor to sign off on the route. Four justices say that the law is illegal, but under Nebraska's constitution, it takes a supermajority, five, to declare legislation unconstitutional. Big story coverage begins with KETV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki. After years of delays and detours, TransCanada's Keystone XL pipeline now has a legally valid route through Nebraska. News union workers were hungry for. I think it was a big win today for Nebraska working families, uh, the working families across the country. A bad day for property owner Susan Donovan. She says, quote, a dangerous precedent has been set by this ruling. This ruling is in violation of our landowner rights. Donovan and two other landowners challenged a 2012 law that gave the governor sole power to approve major oil pipeline routes and grant eminent domain powers. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. In the ruling, a majority of the high court agreed with the landowner. That LB 1161 was unconstitutional because it bypassed the elected five member Public Service Commission that usually handles pipelines and railroads. But a supermajority or five judges were needed to throw out the law. Three of the justices refused to hear the case because they didn't feel the landowners sufficiently showed they were on the actual pipeline route. I would call it a technicality because it, it's not. They didn't go to the merits of the case. Ken Winston from the Sierra Club believes the issue is far from over, either federally or in the state. The bottom line, as far as we're concerned, is that, that there's a clear indication that LB 1161 is unconstitutional. You just would need to get the right plaintiffs in front of the court. In the meantime, in his second day of office, Governor Pete Ricketts said in a statement, today's decision by the Nebraska Supreme Court clears the way for the approval of the construction of the Keystone XL pipeline. It has been demonstrated that it will be the safest pipeline ever built and will bring good paying jobs and property tax revenue. I urge Congress and President Obama to move swiftly to give final approval to this important project, something that the sponsor of the original bill agrees with. We have all the safeguards in place to make this the safest pipeline ever constructed. Now. It's in the hands of the federal government. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7. Now, we may learn the next step for opponents later tonight. A number of landowners along the route are meeting in O'Neill, Nebraska, at this hour with attorneys. This meeting was scheduled before the Supreme Court ruling was released. And we're hearing from TransCanada about today's ruling. The company's president and CEO says the state's Supreme Court decision, quote, means the approved route is valid and removes another delay in making a decision on our Keystone XL presidential permit application. It is time to approve Keystone XL, end quote. Jane Cloud with Bold Nebraska says it's a bad day that, quote, private foreign corporations now know they can buy their way through our state, end quote. She says she's confident the president will reject the pipeline.